Hi Capricorn, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your reading for the 22nd to the 28th of June and we have entered uh, Cancer 2020, sorry I forgot to say that and we are in the energy of Cancer and I have seen in the cards that the energy is shifted and definitely a lot more calmer and positively so let's see what we have for you I will do the spiel or the information at the end of the video so if you are um, uh, interested in hearing the news then listen at the spiel at the end of the video I'm going to start the video now thank you very much for coming back and welcome to the new people first of all this is Monday Wednesday Friday Saturday and Sunday this is the Quirin card or the overall energy and I'm also using the Lenemann cards and I will use the cards around it to clarify it and the Lenemann clarifying the tarot and I'm using the mystical shaman deck the postcard from spirit and the queen of the moon oracle deck let's get started with the first um, card and that is the chariot and you've got luck as that is number seven you have public recognition victory you're moving onwards and upwards and you might be traveling or moving home you might be b m traveling for work or you might be going on a holiday or you might be moving home this could also be moving your business if you have your own business you might be meeting a cancer as the chariot represents cancer besides all the goody goody yum yums and victory <laughs> and on Monday you have the ten of cups happy families and here you see the crab again so cancer is quite prominent this week for you perhaps something might be happening in the time of cancer for you something is coming to an ending and where there is an ending there is a new beginning and of course that could be this new success you might be getting in cancer wow happy families family and friends being reunited partying celebrating coming together awesome on Wednesday it is advised to take some time out this is a spiritual card and it really usually means meditation and contemplation and also evaluating the situation there is a new dawn breaking for you okay or the Sun is setting on the old and you have to contemplate and evaluate what the next step is so it's lying next to the chariot card and that means travel as well perhaps you want to choose your route on where you want to go and how you're going to go perhaps you're going to take a little holiday besides your meditation or contemplation time also the borders are opening up in Europe from the 21st of June in a lot of countries there won't be any more restrictions I found that out due to personal circumstances today how apt is that that it comes out in your reading then you have the Empress on Friday and that means new beginnings the Empress also stands for a Libra you might find out you're pregnant if you don't want to get pregnant then take precautions if you're too mature to get pregnant then you might hear of a birth so you're becoming an aunt a granny who knows Ooh, or an auntie and she also stands not only for ferti fertility but birth growth blossoming and harvesting so if you have invested in anything and it has had the time to grow then you might be harvesting this week and I think most of you will because you've got victory Yahoo and you have the Sun and the Sun is for me means July August 
really August but we in July we have Leo as well as in August it is the height of summer so you might be traveling to a warm country like I said said or moving home new beginnings going on to the next level in relationships or partnerships in work or in love again an ending new beginnings Ooh, lovely I love this good news you are in the spotlight and something is also being illuminated so you are definitely in the spotlight especially with this victory it could be that a Leo has an eye on you a cancer or a Libra the next three four months I'm getting to hear are very very important to you there will be a lot of things happening all at once you might be expending your family in or you might be expending getting a bigger house because the family is being expended growing now talking about the house this could be that you will get a new house saying that indeed because we've got two cards saying you moving house or it could be somebody's moving in with you in the house get in the house does protect you or gives you protection and makes you feel safe come out of your comfort zone you have done that and you are still doing that by the feel of it because that's why you are moving onwards and upwards and harvesting and having victory and reunions with family and friends celebrations perhaps there might be a summer wedding again we have the card here um, here in this corner number two that is the garden and that means coming together presentations celebrations meetings uh, um, parties so family and friends are coming together you are in balance again you're moving up from the 19 to 20 in this corner we have um, the bouquet somebody's coming to visit you again gathering okay gathering and bringing you a gift this is a small gift this could also be news that they are expecting so news is a gift as well okay so that will be happy families and celebrations there will be celebrations or planning of celebrations this week you have also got the hard card the card your heart is healed look at all the wounds that have been sewn up this new beginning is beautiful and it has healed your heart you've opened your heart and you are letting joy come in and protection from family and friends wow beautiful reading even if I say so myself beautiful cards if it doesn't resonate with you then have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign and you have purity what cannot be purer than a baby so there is a new beginning and enjoy the simplicity of things I would say the pureness of nature the pureness the innocence of everything this is also called the snow moon or represents the snow moon and it's 30 the number and that means three so there will be creativity demanded of you this week look for the simplest and the cleanest solution understand your motives for doing what you are doing be as clear as possible in your communication Wow that is how you heal a heart communicate and know what the other wants and what you want know your boundaries then we have the postcard from spirit 
You are magic. Look at that dragonfly. Isn't that beautiful? Dearest you, there are times when loss is a part of life. Sometimes a loss is welcome. Like when you leave a situation not in alignment with your highest good. Sometimes a loss is sudden and painful. Sometimes a loss is sudden and painful. And that's why you've had to take the time to heal your hearts. You'll be either meeting a new love or doing something that you're passionate about. That is well. Like when a loved one crosses over to other dimension, regardless of the nature of the loss and your control over it. Your, ex you, your experiences is asking to acknowledge tears are necessary, as is grief when you repress the natural expression of loss and try to move on too quickly. The unprocessed pain haunts you in destructive ways. We don't <coughs> sorry, we don't want that for you. Instead let your heart break open wide. Feel the loss and integrate it. See the beauty that was the lessons learned and know that as you let go of what has passed evermore of your you remains. It gets better, we promise. Your heart expands with more compassion for the world than ever before. Love heals all, especially when you're with family and friends. We are loving you, sending you love, always and forever. Wow. You've done really well. You've come out of the house now and you've taken time to heal. Well done. You deserve recognition and victory and warmth and love. Everybody does. You've got number 57. Okay. The Time Master. Yes, it is time. The Time Master has magically given you time to heal and now the time is ripe to come into action for the new beginnings. The essence or the meaning of the card is time is, a const is constructed of the human mind through which life events are seen to flow in a straight line from past to future. This, however, is an illusion. Time moves in patterns, fractals, sometimes turning like a wheel, and others move straight as an arrow. Humans seem, see time like a ticking clock, and this image reminds us that there is only so much of it to spend in life like a kind of currency. At any given moment you can see time in all its infinite potential, at once fast and all encompassing, and all encompassing, then shrunk, shrunken and finite. Finite, 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 oh, sorry I don't know. The finish, I think, is a spelling mistake. It all depends on your perceptive. The task or the invitation, when the Time Master visits you, he asks a most important question. Will you break free from limited cause and effect thinking, breaking free? This one, and let's have a look. Your reading is a lot like 
Libra's reading. Oh, Sagittarius, you're breaking free. You've got victory. You've broken free. Limited course and effect thinking by moving beyond the li linear illusion and welcome these um, uh, cyclic quality of time, the cycle of time. You find yourself in a moment when the wheel of time turns and you are able to influence the past, thus changing the present and the future simultaneously. This is the true test of time master. You are being invited to take back your power. So let go of the past and choose to step into your life. In this moment you are all powerful. You are the time master. Anything is possible now. We had the message of loss from the message of spirit or the postcard of spirit and now it's telling you to come out of hiding your heart is mended or mend your heart so you are your own time master so come out break out of security get out of your comfort zone wow powerful stuff that so i hope you've enjoyed this reading and I hope you will break free. If this reading doesn't resonate with you, then have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign. And I hope you have enjoyed this reading Capricorn. And if you would like to be number one, then please keep those thumbs, the likes up. Do it as much as possible and share the video with family and friends. And you will be in my prayers and my healing so if you would like to receive the healing reiki or the angelic reiki or healing then please set the intention and i hope it will support you and help you and of course i hope you have enjoyed or seen the video about the competition because you can win this deck the shadowlands if you become num first place there's also an other deck uh, um, vice versa if the first person the winner hasn't chosen the vice versa then you will get the vice versa if you're number two and the third winner will be getting a free reading for 20 minutes nobody is a loser in this competition as we are making a vision board and that will support us and help us to lessen the load in our mind and keep us focused on what we wish and what we're working towards do. I hope to see you in the life on Monday, Wednesday or Friday and I will be putting out a notification um, on YouTube in the community tab so keep an eye on those days what time I go live um, on those days and also on Instagram and Facebook so hope to see you then I give away free cards but I also answer questions uh, so long they are supported by a donation super chat uh, or super stickers if you would like to have a one-on-one -on -one reading then please look for the information below the video in the description box or click on the white circle with the eye in the right top hand corner the right top hand corner of the screen take care god bless and enjoy your week